Hello, everybody. Today, I want to share how you can add a token to your MetaMask because most people don't know how to do this and they get confused. And I will start from showing you how you can find a token in uh, Etherscan, using Etherscan to find your token. So let's get started. Let me open my, where should I open? My Metamax, 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 as Americans say. All right, as you can see, my Metamax is already open, but I will purpose, purposely sign off so that I can come back. Now here. Let me log out. So that I log back in, I log back in so that I would, you will know how to do it. So you click on that small, this little fox. My children like playing with this fox. So you see that as, as you go, it follows you. So you enter your password. Enter your password. Login. Okay, you see the number of um, tokens that I have there? I have lots of them, okay? But I want to add uh, two tokens that I received the, their contract address recently. The tokens are called boys and girls, okay? <laughs> it's like a marriage. So let's add this token. You click on add token. Did you see what I did? Let me go back so that I see very well. You click on add token. So here you should already know the um, contract address to, to add. But if you don't know the contract address, but you know the name, you can go to either scan, either scan. How do I go to either scan? You can go either way. I can just click on this one. It takes me to Etherscan. But it takes me to Etherscan of this particular coin. But I can click here. You see where it's written? Search by address, TH, ASH, block, token, etc. So I can click, I can write boy, for example, there. You see, we have different boys here. Playboy, DF boy. But what I need is this one. You should also pay attention to the uh, abbreviation of the particular token you are looking for because you can have boys, for example, and it to be different from boy. But what we need here is boy token. So you look at it is boy token and boy. You click on it. Okay, and here is the ERC20 contract contract address that you need. So you copy it. But usually you are given this number. What you need, you need most of the time if you're using uh, my Ether wallet is this decimal. So if you're using my Ether wallet, you can do what I just did and it shows you the token decimal in case you are not given. So you copy this one. Copy. Mine is somehow in Russian language because I live in Ukraine. So you click back here on this fox, wait for it to come up. There it comes, then you click on add token, put in your contract address. You see, it automatically shows you boy and the decimal and they all correspond. But if you're using new, that's my ether wallet, you have to uh, find this token decimal before you can add it to new. So, Let's add it to Metamax. You see now I have 33 tokens. And um, as you can see, all these tokens or most of these tokens are tokens that I got through airdrops that will soon go on exchange to start making me money. So meanwhile, I have zero 
you as the zero ether here, but if this um, disturbs you or you alarm that there is no money in my wallet, I will leave. <laughs> I, I will leave my either wallet address in case you want to send me some if I don't mind. Okay, so let's scroll down and see if we have boy token in here. Voila, you see, we just added it and now we have 10,000 boy. Okay, let me show you also how to add the goals. Not girls, go because that uh, you know they're different. As I said, you can click on any one to send you to um, either scan, or we can go back to it. We are here on either scan, so we go back to where it says login, and we type girl. If you don't know the token uh, contract contract address of the token, so you write girl. Pay attention that we have girls and you have goals. So make sure that you copy the one that you are looking for. And we also have girl token. And what do we need out of this is girl token, okay? So we click on it. Let's see if, it's, that's, if that's what we need. Okay. Let's copy this contract address. Copy it over, that's in Russian copy. Then we go back to the Fox, to Metamask. See, we have meanwhile 53 tokens, so let's try and add boy. No, we're adding girl, now we have added boy. Start it means input. So we add, you see automatically girl comes up 18, we add it. Voila, we have 54 tokens. Then let's scroll down and see if we have this. Um, wow, you see it, girl is here. So if you don't know how to add any token to your Metamask, that was a tutorial right there for you to know how to do this, okay? If you have any questions, you write it down and I will try to answer them. And um, I have some coins here that, you know, I have them, like they're showing zero, but I really have them. For example, that boy, I think I have that boy. Let me click on it and see what it says. Is it showing me zero? It's showing zero here. That means it's on another address. Let me see if it's on address number one. Account number one rather. See, some of the ones that we are showing zero are now showing something. So don't be alarmed when you don't see your tokens. Actually, there's a way you can check these tokens on my Ether wallet, but that will be in another video. You see, most of the video, uh, most of the coins that we are showing zero here are now showing that they are not zero. You can see. I wanted to show that boy. I don't think I cannot see it here. Okay, then let's check for um my Ether wallet of this account. Let's see if you can see that boy. So if you click on my Ether wallet of this particular wallet address. You see, it shows you the number of tokens that are fixed to this particular wallet address. So if you click here, though there it was showing zero, but here is $72. So that, that means that's a token that has some money. Invoin is the one that has that money. So let's see if I have this, that boy here somewhere. You see? I have that boy. It's not showing in Metamax, but it is there. I have 300,000 of that boy. 
So don't be alarmed when you don't see your tokens in your meta max. Maybe, you know, you know, it happens like that sometimes. So you go through either scan or you go through uh, my Ether wallet and it will show you that you really have this coin somewhere, but it's just hidden, you know. So that's it for today. And um, I hope this video will be very helpful to most of you that have been asking me questions. My name is Ikiro Jimado and I am your crypto online diva. And we will continue to say no to poverty. So see you in the next video. We'll sign off and the video.